Got a minute? Let's talk about permission to come aboard. Much like Wonder Woman, which I mostly enjoyed, Aquaman suffers from a serious case of DC bloat. It's been a staple of the studio since The Dark Knight Rises, really, the tendency to throw way too much stuff at the screen, hoping that a few things will stick. Unlike Wonder Woman, though, Aquaman didn't give me much to latch on to, and the result is that 2 hours and 23 minutes felt more like 3 hours. There were things I liked, director James Wan finds some interesting ways to shoot his action, and the performances were mostly good, though I'm still not sold on Jason Momoa's ability to land a joke. Dude's just not funny. Uh, please don't tell him I said that, but the bloated story with not one but two underdeveloped villains and the predictably stilted dialogue make this a pretty dull affair. Restraint is the biggest thing that's missing here and in the franchise as a whole. DC has always had this incredible stable of characters, but the instincts of those involved in the films has been wrong from the start. Tell smaller, more intimate stories, earn the right to eventually throw 10,000 CGI seahorses and sharks at the screen by making me care about the people involved in these quote-unquote epic battles. There are attempts to make us connect with our heroes, sadly they get lost in a tsunami of noise. 